If you've never taken an advanced course in the geosciences, then it's probably likely that you've never seen images or videos like the ones you're seeing now ever before. These are images of geological thin sections, and they represent the crystalline matrix and composition of a particular rock type. In the past, the only way to see spectacles such as these would have been to cut and polish a rock so that it becomes paper thin, and then you would have to place it on one of these. This is a polarizing or petrographic microscope, and it is distinguished from the more usual biological microscope in that it is equipped with a rotating stage and two polarizing filters, one below the sample and the other above it. The problem is, this microscope is expensive, and the reason why you've never seen images or videos like these is because you've never been in a position where you could have afforded one of these. And this is a problem considering that many of the most intimidating subjects taught to students related to chemistry, biology, and physics can be taught and understood in the context of geology. The Andes of South America are mostly made from the rock andesite, which contains minerals such as plagioclase, pyroxene, and hornblende, which can be further broken down into compounds containing elements such as calcium, sodium, iron, silicon, aluminum, and oxygen, only to name a few. This is one logical approach to instructing young students the basics behind atoms. Similarly, much of what we know about evolution comes from fossils found in the rock record. These rocks contain minerals, structures, and other depositional features that provide information about the origin and time of formation. And this is a through way to plate tectonics, which is one of Earth's greatest natural examples of popular mechanics and physics. So for reasons we're obviously passionate about, we wanted to develop a low-cost solution to the petrographic microscope that would allow students in the primary and secondary schools to experience information that has never been available to them in the past. And that's why we've created the Petrographic Analyzer. The Petrographic Analyzer can be used in conjunction with any stereoscope or hand lens and allows the user to polarize the slide and rotate the stage. The analyzer is internally illuminated for basic observation applications. This makes observing the sample easy to do with any existing stereoscope, but also provides flexibility when imaging. For example, images can be captured using only a camera phone. For more professional applications, the observer will never lose context of the sample. This is important for quantitating your observations and provides more flexibility when observing. The windows in the side of the analyzer permit the use of external light sources such as fiber optic lights and other camera flashes. Since all of the light is deflected off of a white surface, the light is diffuse enough to allow for extremely high resolution imaging. This is an image of pyroxene and chlorite at 50 times magnification and can yield details past clay scale all the way down to a micron in size. Currently, the analyzer is a 3D printed hardware component with a magnetic base which stabilizes the apparatus on any stand. The polarizer itself is detachable and it can be fixed onto a lens or a stereoscope or it can be placed directly onto the stage for observation. The help we're seeking from this campaign will fund three total parts. The first part is to enable automatic rotation of the stage and polarizers. This allows every degree of rotation to be photographed automatically so that researchers can easily and accurately document pleochroism and extinction angles within certain crystals. The second segment includes design changes that will make the analyzer more elegant and robust. We intend to produce the analyzers from aluminum which allows for smoother mechanics and provides a much sturdier platform. The third segment is less of an improvement to the technology but more of an improvement towards the availability. The analyzer will be priced low enough to reach students in the primary and secondary education levels, but the supply of thin sections and samples is extremely low. We kindly ask you to please donate any old or unused thin sections lying around that no longer serve your purpose. We will assemble all donations and put together kits of igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks and thin sections, and then donate them to anyone purchasing the analyzer for educational purposes. Even if your thin sections are missing labels, we will take the time to identify the samples for you. On behalf of Macroscopic Solutions, we thank you for your generous support as we continuously strive to inspire discovery and support the education of our students pursuing fields in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We strongly believe that it's observations such as these that remind our students about the curiosities they have about our natural world.